Hey, I'm Josh. I'm an Amazon seller. I do retail arbitrage. I'm going to show you how to get ungated in grocery, toys, and topicals using the method where you go through a wholesale distributor, you buy some products, and you can take the invoice from that order and send it into Amazon and they will ungate you in those three categories. If you're a newer reseller, I highly recommend doing this. It makes it way, way less frustrating when you first start and opens up a lot more doors and opportunities for you. So I'm gonna show you the company you can use, I'm gonna walk you through it and show you three products you can buy right now, July 2021, to get you ungated in grocery, toys, and topicals. Uh, you don't need a business LLC, you don't need a seller certificate or any of that nonsense, you can get started right now. All right, we're on our computer here, and the company that we're gonna use is called Frontier Co-op. They have a wholesale website. So I'm gonna click up here in the browser, and it is spelled wholesale.frontiercoop.com. That is the website you want, and it looks like this. I'll put a link down below. They have another website that's just frontiercoop.com. You don't want that website. You will not get ungated if you use that website. So it should be this one. And you can see on the top left, it says Frontier Co-op Wholesale Store. And now we need to go to the top right where it says sign in slash create account because we need to create an account because I'm assuming that you don't already have one. So there's the customer login and we'll scroll down below that and there is a box that you click that says create a company account. So click on that. And now you need to select a membership. The membership that I have is the one to the right that says non-member account. The other one is gonna ask you for some tax info and there's a $10 startup fee. The only downside to the non-member account is that there will be a 10% surcharge on your orders, but it's not really a huge deal because you're probably only gonna be using this website once or twice just to get ungated. So I would go with the one on the right. So we're gonna click get started on the non-member account. Now we just need to fill out some general info to create the account. It'll take about a minute or two here. So the first thing they're asking for is the company name. Now this, you just wanna put in your Amazon store name. Whatever Amazon has on file for your store name, put that in here. So super awesome store. That's not really my store name. That might be someone's store name. And below that, they're asking for the type of business you are. For this, I don't think it really matters. You can just click other. Now this matters for the billing address. The first thing they want to know is your first and last name. Now this needs to match whatever Amazon has on file for you because this will go on your invoice and Amazon is going to verify to see that these things match. So type in your first name. First name is Buff. Last name Bagwell. <laughs> My address. Now this needs to match to whatever address Amazon has on file for you. Use that address. So it's We'll put one, two, three, Main Street. That's not really my address. City, Fort Worth, Alabama, zip code 1234. Doesn't matter. You get the idea. We'll sign down here digitally. And now below that, we just need to create our online login info. So first name, last name, Email address buffbagwell at aol.com. <laughs> that could be someone's real email address. Uh, don't send them stuff. Password 1234. That's a weak password. Verify it 1234. Okay, so that took about a minute there, and we've got all our info typed in here, and make sure everything matches with what you have for Amazon. And we can scroll down the bottom. And you would just click Submit for Approval. Now, what's going to happen next is Frontier Co-op is going to send you an email to verify. And after that's verified and you're approved, you can log back into this website and you can view the prices for items and buy stuff. So that would be the next step. Now, I can't remember how long this took if they did it right away, or maybe it took a day or two for them to verify you. I cannot remember at this point because I did it a while ago, but that is the next step. So now your account should be approved by Frontier Co-op, hopefully, and all you have to do is go back to the website we were just on and log in. You can see I'm logged in here. It says, welcome back, Joshua, that's me. And I'm just going to give you three products that I know Amazon sells that they carry on here that will get you ungated in these three categories. So we're going to click on the top search tool there. And the first thing we're going to do, let's do the grocery item first. So we're going to type in Bob 
red mill pancake. We'll do a search for that and some products should come up here. And the one we're looking for is the one right in the middle here and it says Bob's Red Mill Gluten-Free Pancake Mix, 24 ounces. So we'll click on that and there's our product there. And it is in stock and it's only 413. And one thing I forgot to mention before was that you will need to order at least 10 of these items. It's just the Amazon rules. That's how they work. They need to see that you've ordered at least 10 of these. So you'll click in that box and do 10 and then add to cart. And I will put up the ASIN and the UPC for this product. So if you want to double check to make sure that it's selling on Amazon, that's cool. But you'll just click add to cart and then you're done with that one. So that's your grocery item. And we'll go back up to the search tool at the top. And now let's do our health and beauty topical item. So we'll type in Burt's Bees Hydro Gel. And that will bring up this product here, this Burt's Bees Renewing Hydro Eye Mask. So click on that. And this one's only $2.28, so you will need to add 10 of these to your cart at least. And it is in stock. And I'll put up the ASIN and the UPC for this one as well. So 10, and then add to cart. And then you're done with that one. And then next, last but not least, we're going to do a toy item. So we'll go back up to search menu. And we'll type in green toys watering can. And over here on the left, you see this green watering can looking thing. That's the thing we're looking for. Click on that. This one's a little bit more expensive at $11.22, but it is in stock. So you would add 10 of these to your cart. And I'll put the ASIN and the UPC down there. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get ungated in grocery, toys, and topicals. Or at least that's how you get the products because you will need to get these shipped to your house and you will need the invoice. And the total it's going to cost is about $176 and then shipping on top of that. I guess it depends on where you live, but it's probably going to cost between $15 and $20. Now, if you want to log into this website and create an account and search for cheaper products than the ones I found and, you know, do your own research... You can probably find cheaper stuff on here, but these are three products that I know that Amazon carries that you can buy off here to get ungated. Okay, so once you have your invoice and your products, you're going to need to upload your invoice to actually get approved through Amazon. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. So you need to log into your Amazon seller account on a desktop or laptop, preferably. So I'm logged in here and you go to the top left and go to inventory and then add a product. And in here, you would just search for your product using a UPC, whether it's the Bob's Red Mill, Burt's Bees, whatever product you ended up with, that's fine. I'm not gated in that stuff, so let's find something I am gated in. Let's try Gucci bag. Okay, perfect. This bag at the top here, I am gated in this, and I know that because it says apply to sell, which is what you'll have to do on the top right. So click apply to sell. And you're requesting approval for Gucci brand in new, used, refurbished, or collectible. So click Request Approval. That'll take you to this page where you will need to submit documents. At least one purchase invoice for products from a manufacturer or distributor, which you will be getting with your products. That's your invoice. And with that stuff, the date must be within the last 180 days. It must include your name and address matching the information on your seller account, including the name and the address of the manufacturer or distributor. It must show that you have at least 10 purchase units. You can omit the pricing from the invoice. And they may check with the distributor to make sure it's legit, which it will not be a problem because it is legit. And here you need to select a file. So now you just want to take a nice, clean, clear picture of the invoice and upload that. And it might also ask you to take pictures of the product so you'd gather up all 10, snap a picture of that and upload it. That would help your case in case there was a dispute, but there shouldn't be. And it may also ask you to upload a picture of all six sides of the product, which is no problem. So do that if it asks you to. And down below, there's a comment section. You can put the ace in of the product you're trying to get ungated in and then put your email address underneath that, the one you already used. And below that, uh, you can put your phone number in. I don't think they would ever try and call you, but who knows. And then after that, you just hit submit and you're done. And it takes about two or three days for them to get back to you. And that's all there is to it. 
All right, there you go. I showed you a wholesale distributor that you can easily use. I showed you three products that Amazon carries that'll help get you ungated in the main categories of grocery, toys, and topicals. There's no minimum order on Frontier Co-op, but make sure you order at least 10 of each of those products in order to get ungated. And if you wanna sign up for Frontier Co-op, and find your own products and do your own research. That's totally cool. They got a whole bunch of stuff on there, but make sure you check on Amazon to see if Amazon is actually carrying that product and that the product is actually in a category of which you're trying to get ungated in before you buy a whole bunch of stuff that you don't need. Uh, unfortunately, you're probably gonna lose some money on this. You might end up spending about one or $200. And by the time you resell this stuff, you'll make some of your money back but you probably won't make all of it back and you almost definitely aren't gonna make a profit on it. Frontier Co-op prices are pretty good, but there's usually just not enough margin there to make a profit on this stuff. But that's not the point. The point was to get ungated and hopefully I got you going in the right direction. So I'm Josh and that's what I did today and I'll see you next time.